Hello, and thank you for attending this talk. My name is Daniel Zhou, and I'm a graduate student at Princeton University. Today, I will present the work of my colleagues and I on coupled inductor modeling and control of the multiphase coupled inductor buck converter. In many modern converters, coupled inductors are the key to achieving smaller size and better performance. Inductive components can dominate the size occupied by a converter, such as in this NVIDIA GPU. This restricts our achievable power density, and moreover, inductive components have a fundamental trade-off between steady state and transient performance. Loosely speaking, a designer wants a higher inductance in order to reduce steady state ripple, which will improve the output voltage ripple and the efficiency as well. But a larger inductance is detrimental to the transient response speed. For single phase designs, this is a challenging trade-off. However, in multi-phase converter designs, we can leverage coupled inductors to help alleviate both of these issues. Broadly speaking, a coupled inductor has shared flux paths between multiple independently switched phases. One example of a possible core construction and its schematic are shown on the slide here. Since the core is shared between multiple phases, we can save space as compared to using discrete inductors. Moreover, it has been shown that due to the flux coupling effect, the transient response can be fast, as one would get with a low inductance value, while also having low steady state ripple, as one would get with a high inductance value. This is beneficial for both of our design goals. To use the coupled inductors, we need accurate models of it, and there are many existing ones available. First, I will review some of the most commonly known coupled inductor models, and then I will focus on the multi-winding transformer models and the inductance dual model, and analyze those more carefully. All of the models that we discussed today are equivalent to each other and to other valid coupled inductor models. However, each one has its own strengths and weaknesses, and we can switch between them freely in order to maximize our design flexibility and insight. In this work, we will consider parallel coupled structures as pictured here on the left. This type of structure has several parallel rods connected together by a top and bottom plate with a ne negligible reluctance. Some of the rods have windings around them, four are pictured in this example, and there can also be a shared rod with no winding that serves as a shared common uh, flux return path. This magnetic circuit can be represented using a traditional reluctance model or a capacitor gyrator model. These are some simple and well-known physics-based models that describe the flux very clearly and intuitively. If we instead want to use a circuit-based description of the coupled inductor, we can use the inductance matrix model as shown on this slide. This is also a simple and commonly used form that describes the same electrical behavior as the physics-based models of the previous slide. Typically, we parameterize the coupled inductor in terms of mutual and self-inductance, LM and LS, as highlighted here. This is not the only way of modeling the coupled inductor, of course. In fact, any model which is consistent with this one represents the same equations and therefore can be interchanged. To that end, let's consider the multi-winding transformer models, which are consistent with the models we've talked about so far and are especially useful for clarifying control design of a symmetric converter. The multi-winding transformer models use ideal voltage or ideal current equalizing transformers. On the top row, consider the ideal voltage equalizing transformer, which represents a series coupled magnetic structure with equal flux in every winding thus relating the voltages by some turns ratio. This is the standard voltage transformer. On the bottom row, instead consider the ideal current equalizing transformer, which represents a parallel coupled magnetic structure with equal MMF in every winding, thus relating the currents by some turns ratio. The voltage equalizing transformer and current equalizing transformer can be used to construct the multi-winding transformer models of the coupled inductor as shown on the right. So why do we use this model? Firstly, it's good for circuit analysis, since the transformers clearly show the interaction between different, current, uh, different phases. 
It is also useful for simplifying control design of symmetric multiphase converters. In this formulation, the leakage inductance, LL, is explicitly shown, and this will be a critical parameter in the transfer function of a symmetric converter, as we'll show later. Of course, the model also matches the classic inductance matrix model when the elements of the matrix formulations are matched. Therefore, they can be interchanged. In addition to the multi-winding transformer models, we analyze the inductance dual model. The parallel structure we consider can be parametrized in terms of side leg reluctances, RL, and a shared center leg reluctance, RC, as denoted on the slide. This can be modeled using a traditional reluctance model, as we've discussed. And if we take the topological dual of this form, which involves swapping series and parallel configurations, the reluctances will change to inductances and we get the inductance dual model. This model therefore can be interchanged with all the other coupled mo inductor models that we've talked about so far. This model is conducive for physical core design since the explicit reluctances are shown. These are useful when designing a core since we can more easily ascertain what kind of geometry and permeability requirements are needed for every leg in the core in order to meet some design goal. The current in the inductance dual model is also proportional to flux, which can therefore be used to model saturation effects. Finally, the formulation of current derivatives makes some derivations more tractable, such as the state space derivation we will discuss today. In summary, we analyzed three models of the coupled inductor, which are identical to each other and to other existing models. The multi-winding transformer models are useful for elucidating control design, and the inductance dual model is useful for physical core design. For more description about these models and a review of other existing ones, please consider consulting the paper shown on this page, which is a unification and review of coupled inductor models. Since all the models that we are talking about are equivalent and each has its own strengths and weaknesses, it is desirable to switch between them easily. Our team at Princeton has created a simple design tool that facilitates this. A designer can enter magnetic parameters in one form and get out any other. For example, one can enter the reluctances and get out the leakage inductances from this tool. Now that we've discussed some models and their strengths, we will leverage the inductance dual model to derive a state space representation and the transfer function of the multiphase coupled inductor buck converter. Here, we have a schematic of a four phase converter with the inductance dual model representing the coupled inductor. We consider a uniform winding resistance, RW, and an output resistance, RO. For this work, we also assume a symmetric design, that is, having the same duty cycle, the same reluctance, and the same number of turns on every phase. However, we could also extend this analysis to an asymmetric design as well. Now we derive a state space representation. Since we must describe the state variables in terms of first order derivatives, the matrix formulation of the inductance dual model is suitable for this purpose. The circuit and coupled inductor can be brought together to yield a dynamic system of the circuit for every set of switch positions. We can then combine these systems over a full switching cycle using the state space averaging technique. Finally, we write the system in standard form as highlighted on the slide with some averaged A and B matrices. Since the averaging technique is used, the frequency range of this model is constrained to one where the control frequency is well below the switching frequency. In the symmetric system, the phase current perturbations will be equal. Because the currents of each phase are equal, the system order can be reduced to just the output voltage, rip, output voltage and the total current. It is then simple to compute the transfer function of the second order system as highlighted on the slide. Here, we present it in terms of leakage inductance, LL, instead of the reluctances, since it is more compact. Moreover, this representation is more familiar to designers since it uses inductances instead of reluctances. Since our goal is design flexibility or design clarity and the models are interchangeable, this is a useful substitution for us. Now we can comment 
on the transfer function of the coupled inductor buck with m phases. First of all, it's a second order system, which is a consequence of the phase current symmetry and model reduction. The leakage inductance, LL, plays an important role in the dynamics. In fact, this transfer function matches that of a standard single phase buck with leakage inductance replacing the discrete inductor. We can therefore use standard control techniques to control the symmetric multiphase coupled inductor buck converter. Since the models are the same, the conclusions and derivations of one apply to the others. We can also use this property to obtain the same transfer function plus additional circuit intuition by considering the multiphase or sorry the multi-winding transformer models. By applying the current equalizing transformer equations and given the symmetric case, we can deduce that no voltage is dropped over the L mu magnetizing inductances and the equivalent circuit is simply M leakage inductances in parallel. The equivalent circuit on the right results, which yields the same transfer function. Since the models are interchangeable, the results of each derivation match, as we expect. We can take any route that is convenient or tractable to reach the res result, which maximizes our design flexibility and intuition when working with a coupled inductor. One example of a design that benefits from the inductance dual model is a programmable coupled inductor. We designed a four-phase coupled inductor buck converter and fabricated a custom four-leg core. This core has a shared center leg with an auxiliary winding in it that can carry some DC current, which saturates part of the center leg, thus increasing its reluctance and theoretically increasing the bandwidth, according to our design equations. We achieve a change in bandwidth in this system when activating the auxiliary programming current, thus validating the general concept. The design is not pr currently practical since the change is relatively small. The fringing fields are one possible explanation for this since the programming current doesn't affect them. However, we believe that we can more effectively change the center leg reluctance and therefore the bandwidth by fabricating cores with different center leg radii. If a significant change can be achieved, such a design would be useful for explicitly changing between steady state and transient response modes. A designer could have lower ripple and higher efficiency during typical operation, then reduce the transient response speed when high load variation ex is expected by activating the auxiliary programming current. In conclusion, we analyzed the multi-winding transformer models and the inductance dual model. These models we present are functionally identical to each other and to other coupled inductor models as desired, but we gain better control insight from the multi-winding transformer models and better physical core design insight from the inductance dual model. Our results are interchangeable between each model and the other existing ones, and we use this property to derive useful design equations for control of the multi-phase coupled inductor buck converter. Finally, we present a simple design tool for helping to switch between all of these models, thus maximizing a designer's flexibility. Thank you for listening.